Hey, what's going on, guys? I've been investing. We're going to review this time the Marvel Legends New Moons Danny Moonstar. Man, this was so hard to find. Um, usually with Marvel Legends Walgreens exclusives, it takes no time for me to find. Emma Frost is really easy for me, for me to find. Uh, Mystique, all the Fantastic Four, Silver Surfer. But this one right here was really tricky for me to find. I actually had to go um, to this Walgreens by my school, which is kind of in the hood. Not really, but I mean, it's kind of a rough neighborhood. And they were like the only person, only store that had it. And I mean, I know a lot of people wouldn't collect three of her. They did have, I think, three. I, I didn't really have the funds to really buy three at the time because that's like 60 bucks. But um, getting one of her is great. Um, you can see it right here. You can see on the side, and then you can see her on the back, a little bio. Yeah, let's open this up, get my opinion. So here's Danny Moonstar herself, and this figure came out really cool, man. Uh, for 20 bucks, you get a lot for this figure. Um, you know, besides the fact that they keep using the same female articulation that they give us, this is a really, really cool figure, and definitely worth the 20 bucks that they charge. Um, so you can see I got her in a really cool pose right here. I really like this pose. I almost don't want to take her out of it. But for the sake of review, let's do it. So this head sculpt came out really cool. She's Native American, and I think they did a pretty good job of, you know, capturing a Native American for this figure. She's pretty. See her nice uh, cheekbones, her bandana, her red lipstick, some Native American hairstyle she's got, the ponytails. This is really cool, man. This is all pliable material. You can see her New Mutants costume, the X logo. It's an X for the torso on the back. The peg hole and the boots. Um, a lot of people were complaining about the fact that they gave us um, regular, you know, yellow X Men boots for this instead of um, the. Um, I don't want to be offensive during this term. Um, Indian style boots. Um, that would have been pretty cool. And also, for Wolves Bane, if they gave us, like, you know, um, beast-like feet, that would have been really cool. But they didn't give us that. But it's still pretty cool either way. And then you can see her bow. And I'm not going to lie, man. This is probably my favorite bow that we've gotten in Marvel Legends. Um, the Hawkeye bows that they've given us, um, as far as uh, Hasbro, the Hawkeye bows that they, they've given us have not been that great. It still follows the same recipe as um, not a real flexible uh, material for the actual string. But they gave us arrows, and that is something that they've never done for Hawkeye, which I really don't like. But for here, they gave us arrows. You can see the tip. Pretty cool. I like that color that they gave it right there. See the feathers there? Little slit right there. Good stuff, man. Um, I guess besides the fact that, um, you know, obviously the articulation, the one problem I do have with the figure is the fact that um, they didn't give us, you know, uh, what do you call it, a quiver you know, for her to hold her, her bows and whatnot, but her arrows, my, my bad. But either way, this is a really, really cool figure. Here's a look at Wolvesbane, and she came out pretty cool, but the neck is really long uh, compared to the rest of the, the figure. I mean, at least for her, not for the other figures, but... I guess it's because um, she's an animal style character and you're putting it on a human body, but cool either way. And she does also come with interchangeable hands, which is, was a nice touch. And like I was saying earlier with the interchangeable feet, it's cool. At least they gave us this. If they didn't give us, you know, if they gave us regular hands for a beast style character, um, that would have been unacceptable. But they gave us these, which are pretty cool. They don't have fur on them, I just realized that, but, I mean, still, really cool touch either way. So, I mean, you can get her in some pretty decent poses, not anything crazy, but still pretty nice. And here's Karma, and it took me a while to figure out who this was. Her name is Karma. Um, I don't remember what her powers were at the moment, but she came out pretty cool. The head sculpt was pretty nice. Like the yellowed out eyes and the bandana. Pretty sure this is a new head sculpt, but it came out really nice, actually. Then they gave us uh, interchangeable hands for her. So, again, for 20 bucks, this is actually a really cool set for what you get. But one thing I will say, at least for my figure, the head is really tight on this figure, man. At least for this head sculpt. Like, it almost scares me like I'm going to break it, but 
Still, really cool either way. The articulation is decent for this figure. Head looks up a little bit, a little hindered by the head. I'm sure it's better on the other figures. Moves down, side to side, left and right. Arm moves back and forth, up and down. She has a single jointed elbow, but it's not too bad. Yeah, pretty decent range right there. She has a swivel at the hand, moves up and down. She has a diaphragm joint, doesn't really move forward, but it moves back pretty far, left and right, swivels. Leg moves forward, back and out, swivel the thigh, toe joint at the knee. Now, when I first got this figure, I'm like, oh great, she has a boot cut. Nope, there's no boot cut here. Uh, a little disappointing, but it is new, so I will give them that. They did give us like a new boot, which is pretty nice instead of that flat uh, thing that they were doing. And actually has a pretty decent um, range up and down and an ankle pivot. Just wanted to see how this looked. Got the MCU Hawkeye quiver on there. Looks pretty good. So Danny Moonstar came out pretty cool, worth the 20 bucks. Um, she is popping around Walgreens. It's just really hard to find her right now. I would check like almost every day. I would check online, but she's worth the money in my opinion. All right guys, thank you all for watching. I'll catch you later. Peace.